It's one of the world's most famous volcanoes, but for those living under its shadow, it's also one of the most feared. Popocatepetl means smoking mountain in the Aztec language and is Mexico's most active volcano. The Earth's surface bears the scars of countless fiery upheavals. Among these, Shivaluch stands as a monument to destruction, etching its mark on history through eruptions of unimaginable power. Today, a renewed tremor rumbles beneath its peak, raising a chilling question. Will this slumbering giant roar back to life, rewriting history once more? Join us as we go through the deadliest volcano on Earth, is about to explode. Shivaluch. With a height of approximately 1,700 kilometers over the Kamchatka Peninsula in northeastern Russia, Shivaluch is a relevant symbol of the actual untamed power of the Earth. It has a great history of major eruptions and is more explosive than the famous Mount St. Helens. Compared to its American counterpart, Five times the number of explosive eruptions from Shivaluch have been recorded in our current geological epoch. But what distinguishes Shivaluch is the nature of its magma composition. This fiery concoction contains a huge amount of water, giving a unique perspective on the Earth's water cycle. Studying the eruptions of Shivaluch will shed light on the way water deep beneath the Earth's mantle finds a pathway to the surface and consequently, influences life on the planet as we know it. The eruption of the volcano in recent history is evidence of its unstoppable might. 1964 was marked by a giant eruption that opened up a new crater and covered about 100 square kilometers of the area with burning pyroclastic flows. These fiery avalanches, a homicidal mix of superheated gas and ash, paint a vivid picture of Shivaluch's destructive capabilities. Yet the eruption of Shivaluch's fury is not isolated to specific outbursts. The volcano has been in a perpetual near-eruption state for two decades, spraying ash and lava with unrelenting energy. But recent cataclysmic activities from Shivaluch suggest that an even more disastrous outburst will occur. Destructive Power of Shivaluch this volcano has a hard history of having had 60 eruptions in the last 10,000 years. Shivaluch is not like Mount St. Helens, whose infamous 1980 eruption is no substitute for this volcano's epic might, which has placed it among the most dangerous volcanoes on the planet. The recent volcanic explosion in April 2023 offered a reminder of Shivaluch's destructive power. This event released a vast eruption of volcanic wrath garnering global attention due to its magnitude. A massive ash cloud filled the skies with a 20-kilometer thick cloud that covered the sun, making nearby villages enveloped in creepy darkness. Cascading lava flows and continuous earthquakes made it even more emblematic of the volatile nature of this awe-inspiring, yet potentially cataclysmic, phenomenon. While, fortunately, there were no immediate reported fatalities, the impact of the eruption was immense. 41,700 square miles of ash fallout caused a code red warning for air travel, hampering flights and causing logistical mayhem. The grim reality of a devastated landscape was residence. The roads were covered in ash and daily life was a challenge. Schools moved to online classes and venturing outside became dangerous. Even tap water took a grayish shade and authorities passed out bottled water to those affected. It also had the potential to have a global impact. The eruption's impact likely sent volcanic stuff into the stratosphere, which may have resulted in a short-term cooling effect. By comparing Shivaluch to other iconic volcanoes, we can more clearly see its special breed of power. 1980's record-breaking debris avalanche at Mount St. Helens may be a more familiar name, but Shivaluch possesses a similar level of destructiveness. Its ash plumes, which can reach the sky several kilometers, and its pyroclastic flow, which can reduce everything to nothingness, are indicative of its primal, untamed force. Mount Vesuvius is another apt comparison. 
The eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD provided the capability of causing mass destruction similar to Shivaluch. Its highly volcanic activities send large volumes of ashes and gases, which have a great impact on local populations and air travel. The ash clouds can go for miles, covering hundreds of miles. They cause havoc in transportation and cause health complications for people who inhale the fine particles. From the Pleistocene era, echoes of old Shivaluch turned the landscape into a raging inferno. 6500 to 6400 BC saw Shivaluch shake the earth as it came back to life and stirred itself in a banal but highly impressive series of volcanic eruptions that heralded the beginning of its rule. However, from ancient times, Shivaluch was always restless. Periods of heightened activity punctuated millennia of relative calm, 2250 to 2000 BC molten earth on the skies. A D50 to 650 marked the start of Shivaluch dominance. 900 BC was the onset of the current, regular type of eruptions, which feature more cumbersome lava dome growth, explosions, and ash plumes that can be seen at any time and that grew to become defining traits of this fiery personality. 1854, forward in time, and the name of Shivaluch was inscribed in history's burning hot pages. A colossal eruption destroyed a part of the lava dome and ensued a catastrophic debris avalanche that devoured villages and redrew the landmarks. 1964 was far enough removed from the sound of this eruption, but nearly the same kind of volcanic event scratched out another crater and covered the area in pyroclastic flows. Shivaluch, however, stands out for its relentless activity. Unlike volcanoes that get dormant for lengthy periods, Shivaluch has been in such an elevated state of activity for more than 20 years. This continuous turmoil, as well as every once in a while breaking to some level, just makes this volcano more dangerous and highlights its unstable nature. Because of the unpredictable nature of its eruptions, scientists and local communities on the island are constantly ready for potential disasters. Shivaluch's Geography the geography of Shivaluch can only be understood after a close look at the heart of Kamchatka. This remote peninsula, which is situated across the Bering Sea from Alaska, is a land of strong paradoxes. Vast, lush forests full of life are replaced by desolate volcanic landscapes where brown bears roam freely. But amidst this breathtaking beauty lies a hidden danger, the largest volcano in the crust of the earth. Kamchatka lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped zone of intense volcanic and seismic activity surrounding the Pacific Ocean. There are more than 160 volcanoes in this region, plenty of which are covered in the peaceful tranquility of snow-capped mountains. Nevertheless, deep beneath their calm facade lie latent outbreaks of rage. Among all these sleeping giants, Shivaluch is the king. 3,283 meters tall, its explosive might have transformed the landscape for miles around, presenting a breathtaking panorama of unearthly grace. This post-apocalyptic allure hides a potentially overpowering energy, the eternal reproduction of Earth, which, no matter how often it seems forgotten, never disappears. Venturing out beyond simple observation of Shivaluch is where understanding its secrets is necessary. Scientists use a high-tech range of instruments to monitor every tremor and breath of the volcano. Seismic sensors identify the tiniest quakes within the Earth, while satellite photos uncover the subtle variations in Shivaluch's ongoing shape-shifting. Scientists hope to put this puzzle together and unravel the mystery surrounding this fascinating volcano, exploring its past, present, and possibly fiery future. This is considered one of the largest high-frost fractured volcanic systems on Kamchatka's peninsula, teemed with massive effusion and estimated by experts to have a monumental magnitude of about 1,300 cubic kilometers. But that is not the only detail of meaning in the story of Shivaluch. It is about two periods of history, a tale inscribed by fire and baking hot rock, frozen in cold ashes. Near the summit of Shivaluch, the ghosts of past generations haunt, 
speak of colossal upheavals that took place thousands of years ago. From the ashes of these massive explosions, a new Shivaluch arose to dominate Kamchatkan forests. As the top boss of Kamchatkan volcanoes, the first act is the stratovolcano, aptly named Young Shivaluch, rising to a majestical 2,800 meters. Its form is carved by layers of solidified lava, volcanic ash, as a testament to centuries of eruptions that have shaped the surrounding landscape. Beneath Young Shivaluch lies the second act, the ancient Old Shivaluch, a caldera worn smooth by the relentless passage of time. This silent crater tells of eruptions so immense that they reordered the geography of Kamchatka itself. Finally, in the third act, it develops as a kara, a volcanic dome resting in the caldera. Appearing as if in slumber, it acts as a constant reminder of the lurking fiery potential that lies underneath the surface of Shivaluch. The creation of this volcanic giant occurred about 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, during the late Pleistocene. During the Holocene epoch, Shivaluch's six major eruptions were like chapters in its epic book. It is worth noting that periods of increased activity have manifested around 6500 to 6400 BC, 2250 to 2000 BC, and AD 50 to 650. These intervals coincide with volcanic paroxysms observed in other Kamchatkan volcanoes, suggesting a deep, interwoven rhythm that propels these fire-breathing titans. However, Shivaluch's fiery tales are not limited to the distant boundary of Kamchatka. Located further south yet stretches like a fiery necklace, the Kuril Islands are another chain of volcanoes. Another brilliant episode of Russia's volcanic story is written by this arc of volcanoes, a bridge between the Kamchatka Peninsula and Japan. The Kuril Islands, stretching for approximately 1,300 kilometers, are a bridge between the Pacific Ring of Fire and the Eurasian continent, showing how powerful the tectonic forces are shaping the Earth's geography. Just like the case with Shivaluch, the Kuril Islands testify to the unending cycle of eruption and rejuvenation. Molten rock flows like molten tears, carving landscapes and molding the pure nature of these island chains. From the smoking crests of Kunashir Island to the boiling chambers of Urup Island, the Kurils tell a story of fire and tenacity. The Russian volcanoes found both in Kamchatka and the Kuril Islands are much more than tourist attractions. They are a living memory of the giant forces that reshape our world. These fiery giants control climates, determine landscapes, and significantly affect the lives of those who rest in their fiery armchairs. In studying Shivaluch and its volcanic brothers, we get a clearer understanding of the Earth's pulsating heartbeat, an understanding that can help us live with these awe-inspiring forces and prepare ourselves for the blazing chapters that lie ahead. The history of Shivaluch is a timeline of both devastation and revelation. Its eruptions have caused a deluge of natural disasters, causing debris avalanches, superheated pyroclastic flows, and topping everything with layers of ash. If these events are better understood in terms of time and spatial distribution, they can both predict eruptions in the future and mitigate their disastrous impacts. A look into Shivaluch's short-term past shows a flurry of volcanic eruptions that have left their marks on the geological surface and the psyche of those who saw their wrath firsthand. The 1964 major eruption remodeled the caldera, formed a new crater, and covered almost 100 square kilometers with pyroclastic flows. However, the story of Shivaluch goes far beyond this most recent apocalypse. Digging more into the annals of history, we come across a wave of mighty blasts that stretches over hundreds of years. From the deafening explosions of the year A.D. 1030 to the fascinating phenomena of 1854 and 1964, Shivaluch left indelible marks in the human mind. These destructive volcanic eruptions, some of which might have even contributed to the Earth's weather patterns, can be found preserved in ancient ice drill samples from Greenland, representing their fiery legacy that remained over the centuries. On top of adding mystery to Shivaluch, is the speculation of the presence of two separate underground plates beneath the volcano. 
Each slab is believed to have different subduction angles, pressures, and temperature paths, which may account for the wide variety of basaltic and andesitic rocks seen in Shivaluch's volcanic formations. Other volcanoes like Shivaluch, Klyuchevskaya Sopka. Rising on the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, the Klyuchevskaya Sopka, also known as Klyuchevskoy, is much more than just an impressive mountain. It's a monster of liquid rock, the unchallenged king of the active volcanoes in Eurasia. At 4,754 meters, 15,594 feet, its snow-capped summit pierces the sky, a constant and strong reminder of the raging fires beneath. Kluchevskaya Sopka is not the only one in its fiery realm. It belongs to the Kluchevskaya group, a large group of volcanoes spanning the peninsula. This volcano family has many active and also dormant giants, such as Shivaluch, which is famous for its violent eruptions. The landscape around Kluchevskaya Sopka is a great reflection of its volcanic power. The landscape of the barren lava fields, jagged cinder cones, and also steaming fumaroles creates a portrait of the wild nature. However, in this toughness, there are little islands of life that persist. In the summer, alpine meadows are covered with many wildflowers, and lichens are firmly attached to the frozen slopes in the winter. Kluchevskaya Sapka is not a big sleeping giant. It is a very unquiet monster, breaking out with great violence. The eruptions usually occur in a strombolian way, shooting lava fountains and also tossing incandescent bomblets into the night sky. Ash plumes can span for many kilometers, coloring the sky in a surreal gray and also covering the landscape with fine, gritty dust. The history of the volcano is characterized by powerful eruptions. In 1737, an eruption caused a massive pyroclastic flow that destroyed many nearby villages, leaving a barren landscape. Lately, in 2023, Klyuchevskaya Sopka woke up with a thunderous roar, throwing out a lot of lava and ash and reminding the world of its unruly nature. While being one of the most furious volcanoes, the Klyuchevskaya Sopka is regularly monitored by the volcanologists from the Kamchatka Volcanological Station. Klyuchevskaya Sopka right now is in a somewhat peaceful state. Nevertheless, its very unstable nature ensures that eruptions can occur at any time. Bezimiany. Surrounded by the flaming titans of Kamchatka, Russia, Bezimiany, which translates to nameless in Russian, is a volcano that cannot be ignored. Different from its tall brother, Klyuchevskaya Sopka, Bezimiany's strength is not in its altitude that reaches 9,908 feet, but in its explosiveness. The story of Bezimiany is a story of continual disruption. It was believed to be extinct until 1955, and since then has released its wrath in a chain of very spectacular eruptions. 1956 eruption was a milestone, leaving a huge horseshoe-shaped crater in its summit, and also changing the landscape surrounding it forever. Bezimiany's signature style was the lava flows, pyroclastic surges, and ash plumes that left the landscape a black tapestry of desolation and also barren slopes. However, in this apparent desolation, there is a power of resistance. The lichens cling to the volcanic rock, thereby colonizing the land in a very hostile environment. During the brief Kamchatkan summer, pockets of the thawed ground bloom with bright wildflowers in the alpine meadows. Nature's tenacity is the counterbalance to Bezimiani's fury, as this landscape is full of many contrasts. Bezimiani's eruptions are very famous for their explosive nature. They usually show a Pelian behavior, with the viscous lava domes developing inside the crater. These domes finally cave in and create blasts that hurl incandescent bombs, ash and gas into the air. The volcanic ash from Bezimiani's eruptions may reach as high as the stratosphere, covering large regions and resulting in spectacular, eerie sunsets. These violent eruptions characterize the long history of the volcano. A pyroclastic flow produced by an eruption in 1981 
reached an incredible 22 kilometers. The latest eruption in April 2023 saw ash plumes rising kilometers above the volcano as a testament to Bezimiani's restless nature. Just like Kluchevskaya Sopka, Bezimiani is under constant surveillance of the Kamchatka Volcanological Station. Every tremor and temperature change is monitored with all due diligence by the scientists who deliver the necessary information for eruption prediction and hazard mitigation. Bezimiani has shown signs of continuing activity. Although there have been no major eruptions since 2023, there are still steam and gas emissions, which signify the continued unrest in the molten core of the volcano, Mount St. Helens. Standing majestically above the Cascade Range in the state of Washington in the USA, the volcano Mount St. Helens is written not only in history, but also in memory. It was a majestic peak covered in glaciers and forests before its life-changing explosion in 1980. Today, it wears the scars of that fiery incident, a reminder of the awesome might of nature. The 1980 eruption changed the topography surrounding Mount St. Helens. The symmetrical peak was demolished, creating a horseshoe-shaped crater one mile wide and also 2,000 feet deep. Mud flows and pyroclastic surges buried the valleys and forests, turning the area into a desolate land. However, amidst this destruction, life has started to regain its lost territory. The new volcanic ash has fertilized the soil a lot, producing very bright wildflowers and resistant plants. The forests are slowly crawling up the slopes as a result of the strength of nature this changing landscape has created new niches for the animals ranging from elk and deer to the marmots and birds. Mount St. Helens stands as a monument to the amazing healing prowess of life, even in the wake of the volcanic wrath. Despite its silence since the last eruption in 2008, Mount St. Helens is not a dormant volcano. Fumaroles spout out steam, venting the heat from the bubbling magma below. There is a movement in the core of the volcano which the earthquakes whisper about. Although an eruption shortly seems very unlikely, the unpredictable nature of the volcano requires a lot of respect. The 1980 eruption showed how rapidly a seemingly sleeping volcano could awake, bringing upon the unsuspecting its power. However, Mount St. Helens has attracted thousands of tourists every year despite the hazards. Hikers traverse the blast zone and see for themselves the fury of the volcanic forces. Scientists take advantage of the unique ecosystem as a living laboratory where they can research ecological restoration and also geological processes. The local communities have also come back and are doing very well, learning how to coexist peacefully with the sleeping giant. Popocatapetl. Popocatapetl, which means smoking mountain in Nahuatl, indeed fits the name with its imposing presence and ongoing volcanic activity. It is the second highest peak in the country, standing above the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt in Central Mexico at 5,426 meters, 17,802 feet. Its snow-covered peak and its almost perfectly symmetrical cone make it a truly amazing sight. The environment that surrounds the Popocatapetl represents its burning past. Raw, untamed power is depicted by the barren lava fields, jagged cinder cones, and also steaming fissures. However, buried deep within this harsh wilderness is an unexpected resilience. In spring and early summer, the alpine meadows are filled with wildflowers, while the hardy pines cling to the slopes all year round. This contrast of volcanic violence and also nature's persistence builds a spectacularly distinct setting. Popocatépetl is anything but dormant. Since 1994, it has been almost constantly active, releasing ash, gases, and also occasionally lava bombs. Volcanoes can erupt as gentle puffs or as explosions that send ash plumes thousands of feet into the air and also cover neighboring communities in gray dust. The volcano's history has even more dramatic events, in 1519, it erupted when Hernán Cortés and his conquistadors 
set foot in Mexico, which they considered to be a sign of their triumph. 1903 was a year of a major eruption that destroyed the surrounding villages and covered the Puebla in ash. These references to the might of the Popocatépetl emphasize the need for surveillance and also preparedness. Popocatépetl is closely monitored by the Mexican government using a large network of sensors and cameras. Scientists carefully record every quiver and also temperature change, which are important inputs for eruption prediction and hazard mitigation. This constant surveillance is very important in ensuring that millions of people who are living in the danger zone of the volcano are kept safe. In 2023, the Popocatépetl is still in a moderate level of activity. Despite the absence of any significant eruptions in recent times, it still discharges steam and gas, and occasional tremor bursts imply the continued activity within the volcano. Researchers recommend that they remain very vigilant and that the communities near the site keep abreast of the latest news. Villa Rica. Another one that is also strong and likely to erupt is Villa Rica. Standing tall over the verdant waters of Lake Villa Rica in Chile, the stratovolcano of the same name is a real symbol of both beauty and force. It is a gem of the Andean volcanic belt, a chain of flaming monsters that spans the whole continent. However, the thing that makes Villa Rica truly unique is its mesmerizing lava lake, a bubbling pot of molten rock that inspires great admiration and a healthy dose of caution. Villarica's fiery temperament has shaped a very spectacular landscape around it. The bare lava plains, rough cinder cones, and hissing fumaroles tell stories of the previous eruptions. However, this cruel beauty is very counterbalanced by the areas of persistence. In spring, the alpine meadows are always ablaze with the wildflowers, their slopes covered in colorful blooms. The lower slopes are covered by lush forests, which provide shelter for a wide range of animals. Nature's contrasting forces are very evident in Villa Rica's environment, where destruction and creation dance in the awe-inspiring interplay. The true gem of Villa Rica lies within its crater, a mesmerizing lava lake. This sea of molten rock is bubbling and gurgling, filling the night with an intense orange light. Its eminent presence attracts both tourists and scientists, mesmerized by the pure force and also the beauty of nature presented. But Villarica's beauty has its sting. It is one of the most active volcanoes in Chile, having erupted more than 50 times since the 16th century. These eruptions can vary from mild ash plumes to explosions, throwing lava flows rolling down its slopes and clouds of ash into the sky. The villages huddled around the Villa Rica volcano have a profound reverence for the volcano that towers over them. They have adapted to live with their fiery temper and have devised strong contingency plans and rigorous surveillance systems. Scientists monitor every tremor and every temperature change in Villa Rica, contributing important data for eruption prediction and protecting the surrounding population. In 2023, Villa Rica is still in a state of relative peace. The lava lake still boils and seethes, but there have been no recent major eruptions. Such volcanoes, such as Shivaluch, have the features of stratovolcanoes and are usually accompanied by explosive eruptions due to the viscosity of their magma. Remember that each volcano has a very specific geological and historical background, which makes its very specific behavior also important. Looking for a phone case that can keep up with your adventurous lifestyle? Look no further than our tough phone cases. This titanium shield is designed to protect your phone from life's unexpected twists and turns, just like a volcano erupting with surprises. Whether you're facing lava-hot deadlines or dodging ash clouds of unforeseen chaos, the tough case has your back. Keep your phone from paying the price for your adventures. Click the link in the description to get your tough case today and enjoy peace of mind knowing your phone is protected. What are your thoughts on the recent Shivaluch volcano explosion? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling videos like this.